pressure. But the Bharti press conference is currently underway. It just started at 2.30, so let's cut across. I will be stepping up to the role of vice chair and MD for the year, for this year, 2025, and eventually as executive vice chair for Bharti Airtel. My job will be focused on four areas. One, to mentor and groom Shashwat so that he's fully ready to lead the India business in 14 months' time. Second, I will take on some of the roles that Sunil plays today across the group, specifically driving synergy on digital, procurement, talent, and network strategy. We believe this will add capacity to the group. Third, I will spend time scaling some of our incubation and growth areas, digital services, financial services, and data centers. Finally, I'll also provide broader oversight across our overseas operations. In addition to this, I've also agreed to continue as vice chair for GSMA as the nominee of Airtel for an additional two years so that latest developments related to technology are assessed and relevant parts brought back to Airtel. I want to clarify that I'm fully committed to the Bharti group and I have no intention of taking on anything outside the group. Let me now turn to the performance and update on our strategy. A quick uh, a background on ESG. In our outgoing, uh, ongoing commitment towards ESG initiatives, I'll share the latest progress. We solarized over 3,500 sites in the quarter and about 24,800 sites in the last five quarters. Our efforts to reduce environmental impact have led to a savings of over 2 million liters of diesel per month over the last two years, resulting in approximately 5.8 tons of carbon uh, CO2 emissions eliminated monthly. This has been achieved with the deployment of lithium ion and valve regulating lead acid batteries and other measures. We recently collaborated with Nokia for energy efficient solution and practices to Airtel's mobile network and expect to reduce Airtel's carbon emissions by an estimated 143,000 metric tons of CO2 annually. Well, that's the big news from Bharti Airtel. While Q2 numbers were good operationally in line, the reason why the stock is under pressure today, down 2%, is because of the leadership transition. Gopal Vittal, who's been instrumental in you know, making Bharti the leader in the Indian telecom space, has announced that he will step down as the CEO and MD. He will take on a wider responsibility in the group as the vice chairperson, and he will handhold the current COO, Mr. Shaswat, who will take on the role of the CEO. Uh, but that transition is going to be very smooth and steady because the new CEO, Shaswat, who's the existing COO, takes on the job, the top uh, position, only in January of 2026. So that's one year away. And Gopal Vittal clarifying and reaffirming that he is going to be still very much a part of the group. Uh, he will be you know, providing a broad oversight of the overall business. He will not be leaving the group. So yes, there is going to be a leadership transition, but in every group, uh, you will always, in every company, you will always have that leadership transition. And this is going to be you know, spaced out over the next one year. But as I said, immediately there is still some skittishness because you don't know how the new CEO is going to perform, considering the exceptional performance showed by Gopal Vittal uh, in navigating in what's been a very difficult time for the entire telecom you know, business with, um, you know, with the competitive pressures, the kind of money that the outlay that they've spent on their spectrum, uh, the returns have been poor. But yet, despite that, you know, Gopal Vittal has you know, helped Bharti you know, become the top uh, telecom company. Um, so you know, the street is naturally a bit worried <laughs> on how the next step is going to be the, you know, for Bharti Airtel. But purely in terms of numbers, it's another very, very strong quality. But let's get back to uh, the... For more news and updates, all you need to do is follow CNBC TV 18 on all of our digital platforms.